Welcome and blessings to you all. I am Lucette and this is the Weekend Life Podcast. Hello and welcome back to this third episode of the Weekend Life Podcast. This is the second path working that we're going to do. And since it's full moon tonight, I thought I will do a full moon meditation. So without further ado, get yourself comfortable and then let's meditate. Get yourself comfortable, preferably in a sitting position, and close your eyes. Start breathing slowly and be aware of your breathing. The breath goes in and then it goes out. As you start to relax, Remember that you can end the meditation at any moment by opening your eyes and you will immediately be back to reality. Take a deep breath in and then let the breath go. Do this one more time. Take a deep breath in and then let it go. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your body all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your mind all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, You watch all your worries disappear. Continue to breathe slowly, feeling your body relaxing and your muscles softening. From your feet up to your ankles and then your calves and your thighs, you relax your muscles. Then to your pelvis, up your torso, through your chest, and down your arms. You relax your muscles. And finally, up your neck, around your face, you feel your muscles relaxing. Now that you're fully relaxed, you can feel as you sit there in contemplation, a white, calm mist appearing all around you. This mist grows and grows. It's a very safe and calm mist, and it grows all around you. Like a thick fog, it surrounds you, and then all you can see is that thick fog Then the fog transports you to a deeper and calm part of yourself. Now the fog starts to disappear and you find yourself under the shadow of a majestic oak tree on a spring night. The full moon above you gives you light on this night. It shines the forest that surrounds this wonderful oak tree. This oak tree stands tall on a hill and you can see for miles around. You can see the forest, the rivers, lakes in the distance and beyond you see the mountains. As you stand there next to your oak tree, You raise your arm to touch the trunk. You feel the texture as your hand strokes your oak tree. Touching your oak tree, you walk around it clockwise, slowly. 
all the way round. You can see that this oak tree is strong and wise. You feel the strength it gives you. You know you will gain wisdom every time you come to visit. Having walked around your oak tree, you look up. The branches are full with spring leaves that dance to the rhythm of the wind. You can hear the rustle of the leaves as the wind blows through the branches. The wind brings the smells of spring forest with it. It brings the warmth of the spring air that touches your skin. You feel safe here. This is your oak tree. You turn around to look at the forest and the view in front of you, and then you see a path. This path seems to lead deep into the forest. Remember, this is your sacred space. You are safe in this place. So you leave your oak tree behind and you start walking through the path deep into the forest. The full moon is so bright that you can see the path very well. In fact, the full moon seems to be guiding you through the path. Walk through the forest. One step, two, then a third and a fourth. Five steps you have done and the sixth step you do. Deeper into the forest you go through this path. Seven, and then eight, the path continues ahead of you. And then nine, and finally ten, when the path ends and you stop at the edge of a clearing. There are no trees on this clearing and there are no flowers either. But what there is, there are nine large stones arranged in a circle, with space between them. You get closer and you can see how huge, how majestic, how enormous these stones are. You get closer and you get to touch one of the stones. You can just feel that cold, coarse texture of the stones. These stones are majestic, they're huge, they are ancestral. You then walk through the gaps between the stones to the inside of the circle that these stones are forming. You walk to the middle and turn around to see every single stone in turn. Nine stones you see. Nine stones stand around you. You can almost feel each one of them. As you look up, you see that the full moon is exactly above you, shining down on you. Somehow the moon looks bigger, like a supermoon, but right above you. You can see her light shining on your skin. You stand there and then suddenly you witness how this light changes to visible sparkles. Tiny little sparkles coming down from the moon onto you. As the sparkles touch you, your body starts vibrating. A little tremble, a loving and safe little shake that you feel throughout your body. A very warm and calm vibration that your whole body is feeling as the moon sends sparkles to you. And as you stand there, you hear a voice. This is the voice of the goddess of the moon. 
She has something she wants you to know. As you stand below me, I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to feel the love within you. I want you to see how the love grows. The voice sounds so sparkly, so vibrant. You can feel it in your body. The goddess wants you to know that you are love, since we often forget. The goddess wants you to feel how much you are loved, since we often feel lonely. The goddess wants you to see that love is inside of you and all around you, since we often don't see how little we think of ourselves. See how the bright shining light from the moon fills your body. You can feel how this bright shining light from the moon fills your body so completely that you shine, you shine in the middle of this stone circle and all nine stones start shining with you. The stones seem to join you providing you, reflecting that energy from the moon, filling you up. Feel those vibrations from the moon. And as the vibrations grow, your body and your mind start to heal. This loving, healing energy will stay with you, within you. We can always come to this place and get some more when we feel that we need it. And we can always come to this place and get some more if we want to share it with others. Because part of love is to share the love and part of healing is to share the healing. By sharing the love and the healing with others so we do replenish ourselves. And when we're feeling depleted, we can always come back here to recharge. And now it is time to walk back. You now feel replenished and ready to go back. So you walk through the gaps of the stone circle. Say goodbye to your stone circle. Don't worry, you will be back. You walk back to the edge of the clearing where your path awaits for you. You walk back through the path, back, back to the oak tree on that hill. Along the path you go back and when you get back to the oak tree, you touch the trunk and then you say thank you, thank you to your oak tree and you're ready to go back. And now that you're ready, you're going to count from 10 to 1 backwards. 10. The calm mist starts appearing again all around you. 9. That familiar mist turns into a very thick fog again and it surrounds you completely. Eight. Then this fog slowly takes you back to where you started this journey. Seven. The fog turns to a little mist again as it starts to disappear. Six. The mist starts to disappear until it's gone. Five. You become aware of the space around you. Four, you become aware of your body. Three, you can start moving parts of your body now. Two, have a good stretch. And one, open your eyes. Blessed be.
Well, I hope you have enjoyed that meditation. Feel free to leave us a review in your favorite podcast directory or wherever you are listening this from. You can check my website, weekendlife.co.uk and join the newsletter. I certainly intend to give you new path working every two weeks. Certainly got plans for quite a lot of them over the coming months. And uh, that way with the newsletter, you'll get to find out the latest uh, podcasts I've been released alongside with some thoughts, uh, thoughts on Wicca. Uh, Hope you enjoy that. And remember, always share the love and healing with others. Until next time, Merry Meet, Merry Part, and Merry Meet again.